Welcome back to my channel. I'm Brittany. For those of you who didn't know, now you do. As you can tell by the title today, we are doing a long overdue assumptions about me. I told y'all to ask or tell me assumptions that y'all had about me, and I'm just going to be addressing them. Like, I'm either say, yeah, you right, or no, nah, you're wrong. Like, that's all we're going to be doing. You know, just a little this, a little that, or whatever. Hopefully, y'all didn't go too crazy. But before we go ahead and get into the video, if you're not a part of the doghouse, go ahead and click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any videos. Like, so let's go ahead and get into the video. I got all y'all assumptions right here. I got them all right here. Come on. Let's do it. Number one, number one, you're toxic. Am I really, am I really toxic? I don't, okay, I'm, I'm gonna say this. I'm not as toxic as I used to be. I'm not as toxic as I used to be, I'm really not. But I feel like everybody has like a little toxicity in them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I used to be real bad, I ain't gonna lie to you, but um, I don't kinda like, I done kind of chilled out a little bit. So I don't, I might have like a little toxicity, but I ain't just doing, doing too much, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna just say this. Um, a toxic trait that I used to have is that I was very controlling. Not even just in a relationship, but like me, myself, like in my life in general. I figured out it was really like an anxiety thing and I felt like I needed to be in control of everything. Like if I wasn't in control, like everything was like just chaotic. So I always felt that I needed to have control over something and you know, and like things needed to go my way. Then, you know, I had to you know grow up and realize, you know, that's not how life goes, you know? So once I got into the mindset of it is what it is, that went out the door. I don't really have a problem with that anymore. The things I couldn't do nothing about, I just, hey, it is what it is and keep it moving. You know, I can't dwell on this and get myself worked up, get my anxiety back on a hundred. You know, I had to just learn how to let go, honestly. So once I started to realize like, it is what it is. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. If it's not, it's not. If it's meant to be, it's going to happen. You know, once I started realizing all of that, I got to the point where I was kind of like nonchalant about a lot of stuff. So the it is what it is got took to another level. Like, I don't care type stuff. Um, so I don't think it's to a level where it's toxic. Like the nonchalant is toxic, but it's to a level where I keep my sanity. I don't take things to the heart as much as I used to. You know what I'm saying? Well, I'm nonchalant about a lot of other, um, a lot more stuff than I used to be. I used to complain so much about people being nonchalant with me, but now, honestly, I understand it. Like, I just had to, some things you just gotta be nonchalant about just to protect yourself, just to, you know, keep yourself together. And I understand it now, completely. I don't think my nonchalantness nonchalantness is to the point to where it's toxic but it's definitely there i would kind of say this is kind of toxic but at the same time like it, it makes sense my thing is i really don't believe people i don't not even just like trusting but i don't believe you like i don't believe you until you um until you do what you say you're gonna do basically um so I'll make you think, I'll make you think that I believe you, but really I'm like, okay. Like you'll tell me something, I'll be like, okay, that's cool. Whole time in my head, like, yeah, that ain't happening. <laughs> but I don't feel like that's, it can be toxic. I don't really feel like it's toxic at the same time, but I feel like it is toxic. So number two, let's see, you're anti yeah agree very much so um i am very antisocial. i like being by myself um i don't know i think i'm like 
I don't I don't think I have social anxiety, but I think I'm like socially awkward or something like that. I don't know. I do agree. I am very much antisocial. I don't like small talk. I really don't like holding little conversations. I don't. That just makes me uncomfortable. I don't like it at all. Yeah, people like think I'm being funny or something like that. I'm like, no, I just don't. I don't, mm -mm, I don't like small talk. Like, what do you want? I'm trying to be funny, but like, what do you want? What do you need? That's another thing. Like, I don't respond to nobody. Everybody be on my head because I don't respond to messages or stuff like that. But I just don't like small talk. Like, I'd rather like just be around, like be around you and talk to you or something like that. But please don't text me trying to have a conversation. What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Next, somebody said, stop leaving me on red. Who could that be? Like I just said, I don't respond to messages. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No offense to anybody, but it's not you. It's not you, it's me. I promise. I'm so for real. <laughs> Whatever number. Um, be for real. BFFR. Somebody said I had a BBO. So, um, be for real. <laughs> so many people have assumed that I have a BBL. Um, mainly it's people that haven't known me for long. So no, I don't have a BBL, negative. I don't. Maybe this is homegrown collard greens and neck bones. Like <laughs> that's all that is. The thing been banging. The dumpy been dumping. But y'all talking about I got a BBL? Oh, okay. I don't even think it's that big, but you know. Right, next assumption about Brittany. You're dangerous. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just trying to see what y'all be talking about when y'all say I'm dangerous. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Um, I'ma just agree, cause I think I'm a very dangerous specimen. So yeah, I am. Next assumption, you don't do too much. I really don't. I really just be chilling. I really don't be doing nothing. Um, I be in my own little world. I don't be knowing nothing that be going on. Like, like people be coming telling me stuff. I'm like, well, who is this person? Like, what is? When, when did this happen? So I really don't be doing. I just be chilling for real. I go outside on weekends. That's about it. Other than that, I be. I be uh here. Um, let's see. You're low key funny. Why I gotta be low key? I'm funny for real. I think I'm a little funny. Like I be cracking myself up. You know, I be talking to myself and everything. Like we be having conversations. My mama said, it's okay to talk to yourself as long as you don't answer yourself. If you answer yourself, then you, we got a problem. But I don't even know if I've been still saying like negative or um, true or whatever. But anyways, next assumption. This one says, I don't depend on nobody. I'm glad you know. For some reason, I just, it's hard for me to depend on people because, um, I don't know. And I feel like, um, me being independent has a lot to do with like that control thing I was telling y'all about, um, a while ago. I just like to do stuff when I want to do it, do what I need to do. I don't like, I really don't like asking people to do things for me. I just always have been like that. And, but yeah, I don't like, I don't like asking people for favors. I really don't. Like this TV, if I could mount this TV on the wall myself, I would. But I think the thing with me for real is that I don't like the feeling of being let down. So the way I avoid that is just to, you know, not be dependent on other people. So yeah, I think that's what it is. That's what it is with me. And I feel like too, I'm thinking about it now, that could be like another toxic trait that I have. I might be a little bit too independent. Um, Maybe, I don't know how to let people do stuff for me. I don't know how to let people do favors for me. I just, I don't know. It's hard for me to accept, like, it's hard for me to accept gifts and hard for me to accept favors. And I don't know, that's, yeah. What was the question? What was the original question? I mean, assumption. Oh, that I'm independent. I don't depend on nobody. That's what it is. I don't depend on nobody. I don't. Okay, I really don't. next, um, let me see, you got hoes. I don't, I really don't. I ain't got no hoes, I ain't got 
no hoes. Ooh, where did my hoes go? Where did my hoes go? Ooh, I ain't got no hoes. I really don't. Like I said, I don't be responding to nobody to have hoes. Like, I don't respond. Like, Lord. I'm never going to find my husband. I be thinking, like, how am I going to find my husband? I don't even talk to nobody. Like, for real. But no, negative. I don't have hoes. I really don't. Um, but they say it's draft season. They say that they say it's about time to get the roster up. You know, I ain't saying that. That's what they saying. I'm just telling y'all what they saying. So um, this is the last one. Um, this really the most common one that I get like all the time. Like people who either just met me or has been knowing me for a long time. And they tell me that they thought this about me before they met me, you know. But the main assumption that I get is, drum roll please, I'm stuck up. What did I do? Why do y'all think I'm stuck up? Um, I really feel like, for one, my face. I got a bad RBF, I really do. I seen it um, and I be like, I've seen it in videos. And I be like, I wouldn't talk to me either. But no, like if you really know me, I can look one way, like if I'm just walking around, I can look like I'm mad at the world. But as soon as you say something to me, you're gonna see a smile, like literally pretty much anytime. Like I'm, I, I try to work on it, but um, that's hard one to do. Um, my face is just, woo. People think I'm trying to be, you know, I'm being stuck up and I want to talk or conversate or nothing like, or something like that. And people think like, oh, she just, you know, but it's not that, it's just, that's just how I am. I'm really a humble person though, like, I know that anything I have can be taken away from me like at any second. And I'm very humble in who I am and what I have, so I'm I'm not stuck up about anything. Y'all really think I'm stuck up? That's crazy. I don't think I'm stuck up. I think I'm a real crackhead at heart. You know, it's okay. Guys, that is all for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to go ahead and like. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know of any other videos you guys want to see. And of course, like I said before, if you're not a part of the doghouse, what are you waiting on? Go ahead and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any videos. You feel me? I'm going to wait till y'all do that. Thank you. And I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm